Hi and welcome to The Travel Boss. Today's video is about the top 10 things to do in Alanya. The city is also a starting point for scuba diving, cruises, and trips into the Taurus Mountains, where you can hike through canyons, explore caves, and swim in cool mountain streams. Before we start our top 10, please click the subscribe button and tell us what is your favorite thing to do in Alanya in the comments. Number 10. Dim May. From the Taurus Mountains, the Dim River flows down the east side of Alanya. The river not only gives life to a lot of plants along its banks, but it is also very cool, even when it is very hot outside. Families in the area have a tradition of going to the river below the Dim Dam to fish, paddleboard, and have a barbecue on the banks. Dozens of restaurants, many with shaded terraces on little wooden piers, or even on pontoons that float on the water, serve the many day trippers. Number 9. Alanya Tersanisi. In 1228, Anatolian Seljuk Sultan Kekbet, I ordered the building of this amazing shipyard, which is just south of Kolkul and faces east across the bay. In the Middle Ages, Alanya was the best shipyard on the Mediterranean for the Seljuk Empire. What's left is in great shape and can be seen for free along a wooden boardwalk. There is a line of five pointed arches that is more than 55 meters long, and these vaulted bays go 44 meters into the building. Number 8. Alanya Archaeological Museum In the past, there were a lot of cities in the area known as Pamphylia. Many of these cities are now interesting archaeological sites. So, if you're on the Turkish Riviera, it's always a good idea to stop by an archaeological museum. Alanya is known for a bronze statue of Hercules that is just over half a meter tall and dates from the 2nd century CE. Number 7. Alanya Harbor, Lamani. Alanya's port for cruises and diving trips is guarded by Kul Kul to the south, and it's a good place to wander around and see where your curiosity takes you. A promenade runs along the water surrounded by gardens with palm trees, grass, and topiaries. There are many places to park and look out at the sea, down at the castle, or up at the Taurus Mountains, which are a constant and imposing presence all along the coast. Number 6. Damlatis Cave In 1948, when stone was being taken from Alanias Peninsula to build the harbor, workers found a cave full of stalagmites and stalactites. The Damlatis Cave is at the bottom of a set of stairs. It is 50 meters long and up to 15 meters high, and the strange formations inside are carefully lit. Now, something to note about the chamber is that it has a constant temperature of 22 degrees Celsius and a high level of carbon dioxide, 96%. Number 5. Sapader Canyonu. It's impossible not to be impressed by the Taurus Mountains and the Sapader Canyon about 40 kilometers northeast of Alanya, is your best bet if you want to get away from the city and see this amazing landscape. In the mountains, it's a few degrees cooler, and the lack of humidity is something you'll notice right away. Number 4. Alanya Teleferic On the east side of the beach is the lower station for a cable car that took people up to the castle promontory. The cable car opened in the summer of 2017, the Alania Teleferic goes up 250 meters on a 900 meter line, and every 19 seconds, one of its 14 gondolas will leave. When you're on board, you'll have amazing views of the Gulf of Antalya, the resort, and the Taurus Mountains, which are further away. Number 3. Cleopatra Beach Alania's main beach is a long, gentle arc of coarse sand that starts at the western foot of that point. It is washed by low to moderate waves. Cleopatra Beach is wide and only gets a little narrower as you go north. It gives you a clear view of the castle and the dark Taurus Mountains. Along the beach, there are beach clubs with sun launders, and between the beach and Atatürk Boulevard is a wide promenade with the same views, shaded by swaying palms and separated from the street by a strip of greenery with playgrounds and flower beds. Number 2. Red Tower, Kizilkul. Alanya's symbol is a Seljuk defensive tower from the 1300s, 
It is called the Red Tower because the top floor and parapet are made of red brick. The base of the Red Tower is an eight-sided shape and its lower walls are made of marble blocks. This rare piece of defensive architecture from the Middle Ages was built to protect Alanya's harbor and shipyard. For hundreds of years, it was the first thing people saw when they came to the city. Number 1. Alanya Castle The steep peninsula of the city is surrounded on three sides by the Mediterranean Sea. On top of the peninsula is a fortified castle from the 13th century that is surrounded by 6.5 kilometers of walls. This rocky mass makes a natural defense, and the castle we see today was built on top of Hellenistic, Roman, and Byzantine walls. There are a total of 83 towers and 140 towers in the walls, and many of the original 1,200 cisterns are still in use. Alanya Castle is a huge archaeological site that can be explored for hours. So these are the top 10 best things to do in Alanya. Please like the video if you enjoyed our list and share your views in the comments. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel The Travel Boss. Thanks for watching.